Tulane is receiving numerous questions from students, faculty, staff, and parents regarding the status of coronavirus at Tulane. This is an evolving situation to which Tulane, public health officials, and government agencies are responding to in real time. University policies will continue to evolve as appropriate by the changing circumstances. Tulane University continues to follow recommendations from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and other state, national, and international health agencies regarding this outbreak. Please visit the website on the screen for the most up-to-date information. Major notifications and announcements will also be shared via email. Be sure to check your university email on a regular basis. As you know, there is currently an outbreak of a respiratory disease caused by a novel or new coronavirus that was first detected in China and which has now been detected in more than 100 locations internationally, including the United States. This disease is called the Coronavirus Disease 2019, or abbreviated as COVID-19. Tulane Campus Health has begun testing individuals based on screening guidelines. Individuals who are tested will be kept in isolation to prevent the spread of the disease. Health authorities throughout the world are focused on this illness and Tulane's highly trained medical staff is closely following developments while working with other university officials to make well-informed decisions for the protection of the Tulane community. Reported illnesses have ranged from mild symptoms to severe illness and death for confirmed COVID-19 cases. The following symptoms may appear two to 14 days after exposure. Fever, cough, shortness of breath. The virus is thought to be spread mainly from person to person between people who are in close contact with, an, with one another, usually within six feet. It is spread through respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs or sneezes. These droplets can land in the mouth or noses of other people who are nearby and or possibly be inhaled into the lungs. It may be possible that a person can get COVID-19 by touching a surface or object that has the virus on it and then touching their own mouth, nose, or eyes but this is not thought to be the main way the virus spreads. Early information shows that some people are at higher risk for getting very sick from this illness. These include older adults and people who have serious chronic medical conditions like heart disease, diabetes, and lung disease. There is currently no vaccine to prevent COVID-19. People infected with COVID-19 are treated with supportive care to help relieve their symptoms. Individuals cannot decide for themselves to get tested. Only healthcare providers can request a test for the virus that causes COVID-19. And those requests are made in alignment with the Louisiana Department of Health and the CDC guidelines. Approvals are based on symptoms and on risk factors such as your travel history or exposure to individuals known to have the disease. If you are experiencing fever or other respiratory symptoms, please do not go to your health care provider before calling first. If you have the symptoms for COVID-19 or think you have been exposed, please follow the directions on the screen. Before you go to any health care provider, including the Student Health Center, please call ahead and tell them about your exposure or potential exposure to COVID-19 and your symptoms. The best way to prevent illness is to avoid being exposed to this virus. The virus is spread mainly from person to person between people who are within close contact of one another. While there is still much that is unknown about this virus, we know that there are things we can do to reduce our risk of infection. Wash your hands often, using soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially if you have been touched by someone who is sick. If soap and water are not available, then use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, or mouth with unwashed hands. Make sure to cover your cough or sneezes 
by using the crook of your arm or disposable tissues. If you use disposable tissues, throw them away after use and then wash your hands with soap and water. Avoid sharing drinks with others. Maintain a balanced diet, exercise, stay hydrated and get plenty of rest. Clean and disinfect surfaces you touch regularly. Remember, if you think you are sick, call your health care provider for assistance. The CDC does not recommend that people who are well wear a face mask to protect themselves from respiratory diseases, including COVID-19. You should only wear a mask if a healthcare professional recommends it. A face mask should be worn by people who have COVID-19 and are showing symptoms. This is to protect others from the risk of being infected. Tulane University is taking the following actions. All university sponsored or related events that will have 10 or more attendees are canceled until further notice. Non-essential staff who can work from home are being asked to do so. All non-essential university related travel has been canceled. In-person classes will cease March 13th, 2020 and will be moved online beginning March 23rd, 2020. Between March 14th and March 22nd, all uptown on-campus students should prepare to move out of the residence halls for the remainder of the semester. In light of the current situation with COVID-19 in New Orleans, Tulane University is implementing updated social distancing guidelines effective immediately. The majority of the cases in Louisiana are in New Orleans. The importance of social distancing cannot be overstated at this time. Social distancing means you should not be in close proximity to others. You should maintain at least a six foot distance from other individuals. Whenever possible, you should be at home. The governor has even announced that all bars, movie theaters, and casinos will be closed, and restaurants are limited to takeout, delivery, and drive through only. These rest restrictions will be in place until at least April 13th. The gravity of this situation and the need to reduce the risk of exposure and spread of this disease is vital. No events, meetings, or gatherings are permitted to have 10 or more individuals. Individuals need to maintain a six foot distance from one another. This is applicable to all members of the Tulane community, whether students, staff, faculty, or administrators, and whether full-time, part-time, temporary, or contracted services. If students host or attend house parties, they will face student conduct charges and may be suspended. Your actions will have consequences. Do not put the public's health and safety at risk because you want to party. This is a grave situation and any actions that put your health or the safety or health of others at risk will not be tolerated. Flexible work arrangements are being implemented for staff whenever possible. The Commons is currently only open to Tulane faculty, staff, and students. At 5 p.m., all Tulane University libraries will be closed to all but critical staff. These staff will be working to ensure continuity of services online and will only be on site as long as necessary to do so. Students who need access to the library because they do not have a computer or course specific computer programs need to email Erica Woodley as soon as possible so accommodations can be arranged. Tulane is also making the additional recommendations. Avoid sharing drinks or food with others. Use disposable cups and utensils and dispose of them after use. Avoid close contact with others. This includes handshakes and hugs. Reduce face-to-face -face exposure by using telephone conference calls, email, and video conferencing as much as possible. Avoid others if you are sick or experiencing symptoms such as fever, cough, or shortness of breath. To get the most up-to-date information, please check your Tulane email regularly. You can also check the university's COVID-19 website for the latest answers to FAQs, communications, and travel advisories. This website has the most up-to-date information on COVID-19, Tulane's response, 
the adjusted academic calendar and instruction, as well as specific information for employees, students and parents, scholars, and admitted and prospective students. Thank you all and please stay safe during this time.